I wanted you to see the proof of of one derivative, which was the derivative uh, of the sine sine of x, and and we went through that and we figured out it was cos of x. But I'm not going to take the time to go through every single uh, uh, limit derivative of all the of all the uh, the trig functions. I'm just going to tell you the rest. So the derivative of sine of x is cos of x. The derivative of cos of x. What do you think it's going to be? Well, if you guess sine of x, you're pretty close, but it's actually just the negative sine of x. Negative sine of x. Okay, and then the derivative of tangent, oops, derivative with respect to x, of tangent x is equal to secant squared x. Secant squared x. And secant, remember, is just 1 over cosine. Okay, so those are those ones. Now the derivative with respect to x of of secant of x is equal to secant x times tangent x. So pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting that this is what it, what it comes out to be. The derivative of cosecant x is equal to negative it's equal to the negative oops equal to negative cosecant x times cotangent x and then the derivative of cotangent x of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant x squared cosecant squared x or if you want to say that. Co yeah, cosecant squared x. Or cosecant of x squared. Um, okay, anyways. So those are the those are the derivatives of the six trig functions. The ones that usually come up, at least that I, I've seen, in a calculus course are the first four. Not that you don't have to know the second two, but the second two are very similar to the the or what I'm, the these these two are very similar to these two if you look at them they're just the negative but so for any I, I I don't know why it is but these these four here tend to come up more often but you will have to know these and see them so it's good to know them alright so those are the the derivatives of the six trig functions see you in the next video